So instead of HTTP, we are seeing our own custom protocol. And then we're able to pass data into that protocol, which will get routed into the program that we assigned that protocol to. Hi, Consulting Joe here with another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about protocols and how to create your own custom protocol. So what I've got here is an example of something I needed to be able to print uh, bin location labels for a warehouse and I needed to print those with a zebra label printer but my problem with printing them straight from here is that these labels don't come out nice and clean out of the label printer. So you have to use a ZPL script which is special code to talk to zebra label printers to generate these labels. So uh, how I did that is I basically created this web page. When we select our labels and click print, it'll ask us if we want to allow this to open the ZPL print.exe. And we, I created this application. I'll show you how to create your own. But when we click this, this is really just a test version. It's not actually printing any labels right now, but when we print it, we will see this box, which will see the first label and the location. And then if we close it, it'll pop up another box and fill in the second uh, product and location. So this slash, don't mind that, that is just a bug in the code. Uh, we can fix that later. Um, but then it will generate our label data, which looks like this. So this first section is our, our first label, section, second section is our second label, and we'll see that the barcode is actually generated right here, B and, uh, BCN and FD, and then there's our product number right there. So kind of gives us a field location and then lets us set up our barcode if we want to show the number under the barcode, how tall to make it, and some other options like a checksum and things like that. So then this would be sent directly to the printer um, over a command line prompt, and then it would come right out. Um, so from here, we can jump into the code and see how that works. But down here at the bottom, we will first see that when we hit that print button we are requesting zpl print colon slash slash so instead of http we are seeing our own custom protocol and then we're able to pass data into that protocol which will get routed into the program that we assigned that protocol to so let's see how that works so what i've got here is our folder so I've got a C colon slash ZPL print in that folder I have my template and I have an exe file I also have a log for troubleshooting so at the very beginning here we'll see that the um, the registry keys are added to set this up so there's a few registry keys that need to be put in into these locations and that's going to allow this to work with Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Edge, you name it. Uh, so now it's registered when we run it the first time. And then we've got some logs that I printed labels and so on. So let's see the, the actual code and how that works. So if we look here and we edit this, here's our code. So we're setting up our protocol name we can call this anything we want as long as it's not already in use you don't want to screw up uh, your existing protocols like http and https uh, because then your internet won't work so make sure to use a custom one um, and then this is all going to allow us to set up where our templates located our printer share i just called the printer zebra and shared it over the network you can set up firewall rules to prevent anyone on your network from printing to that share though. Um, and then we've got a temporary location for our uh, uh, template to be filled out and saved to so that we can send that off to the printer and then our log file. So this is Autowit script. 
Uh, this is how you would write your program. Um, right here we have our command and we're taking our count of how many uh, arguments we've got and if that's ever over zero then we're gonna handle our protocol so if we go down here is the code for registering that protocol by the way and all of the registry keys that have to be entered and then here is handling the protocol invocation so what we're doing is we're taking our URI the URL from the uh, the link that we clicked from the print button and we're passing we're grabbing that out uh, we're trimming it up um, and then we're going to split up the data because we're pushing multiple labels through this one string so we're splitting up that with semicolons and then from though each label we have our product name and our location so those are then split by our commas so from here we loop through all of those labels and then we are doing our array display to put to have our, our array of all the labels with all the data in there and from there we would print but this is a, a test application just to show the the data that it's actually receiving so from here if we go back we can hit print and we can click always if you know everything's good and working and you won't have to change anything but I leave that and just to show we've got those labels and then that code generated so if you'd like to see our actual template here this is the template for zebra label printing um, so we set up a label we end the label we've got our barcode information and we've got our location with a token that we can replace uh, for our text and then another token that we can replace for our part number text and that's about it for our label so that prints on a three by one label printer um, and yeah so if you like this video please feel free to subscribe leave a comment and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.